Hey YouTube, B3 here, back for another episode by episode episode, yeah. Now, today's episode by episode is a continuation of The Batman. The Batman. Yeah, season one still going on. Episode five is what we are on now. Boop. And the villain is Mr. Freeze. Yeah, pretty hardcore stuff. The episode's called The Big Chill. Starts off with this, like, you know, little yacht party. And it's during a heat wave in Gotham. And they're about to hit an iceberg. They kind of hit an iceberg. The iceberg actually pulls them in, almost like it has ice tentacles and stuff. Really cool. Uh, of course, Mr. Freeze steps out, freezes a guy, and uh, demands everyone's jewelry. Or he's going to blow that guy up with this like ice pick thing he has that makes ice explode. And no one really understands the laws of thermodynamics. Not Batman writers, anyways. So, you know, of course, it would... I mean, it, whatever, I don't really want to talk about science, I want to talk about comics. <laughs> but, but, you got this cool stuff going on. He steals all the diamonds and stuff from the yacht, and later Batman tries to stop him when he's trying to steal from a jewelry store and etc. And he breaks, you know, the ice that's on his head, and it's like, Oh, sheesh, you're Victor Freeze, I know you, you're dead. Because Victor Freeze wasn't a scientist who was trying to save his wife or anything like he was in the animated series. Now, now he's just a straight up baddie. Stealing because it's what he does. And he tells Batman his story. He was a criminal in the car chase of Batman. Flipped his car, ran into a cryogenics lab, fought Batman there, and uh presumably died, but he was actually kind of in this state of hibernation, and it mutated his body and his DNA and all that, all that jazz, and of course he, uh, became Mr. Freeze, and instead of having ice tech, like his ice guns and stuff, he has ice powers, like he can just freeze you by willing it, just insane. But yeah, you know, he does his little Victor Freezy Freeze stuff, fighting Batman. Freezes Batman almost solid, like just his head is out. And Mr. Freeze is going to kill Batman, but the detectives show up, so Mr. Freeze goes away. Of course, after. Only after telling Batman that he got his cryogenic suit from a scientist that he threatened, and etc. That helps him control his powers. He goes away, and Detective Yin is like, Yeah, we get to unmask the Batman, he can't move, and his head's free. This is going to be great. And Detective Ethan didn't want her to do it. She was like, we still have a job to do. He's still a criminal. She looks at Batman and tells him he's just pretty much just like Mr. Freeze. She's about to do it. Uh, his hand was on his utility belt when he was frozen. And he was able to hit something, heated him up, bust him out of the ice. He left. But he kind of got a little hypothermia going on there. Uh, barely makes it back to the Batcave. Alfred kind of nurses him back to health. He's got this awful fever. And, of course, he's having his, oh, no, parents, I couldn't save you dreams, like he always does. They really lay on the parent stuff thick. His origin stuff laid on kind of thick in the first few episodes of this show. But, you know, to get that out of the way, and he's like, I'm a criminal just like Mr. Freeze. The detectives were right. I need to stop being Batman. And Alfred said, as much as I would love for you to stop being Batman and live as normal a possible life as a you know, billionaire can live... Uh, you would resent me as soon as you came out of your fever for convincing you to do that. So, I'll convince you some other time right now the city needs you. So, he kind of starts to get better, and etc. And they go, and Alfred makes them this bat suit that's like weatherproof, and it's kind of like just bluish and white bat suit his face covered up. Looks kind of cool, actually. I like it. It's really neat. Uh, Mr. Freeze has created this ice castle for himself in the middle of the park, and he's going to turn Gotham into his own kingdom, which is, might be a little too crazy, you know. It would never work. Before he took over the entire city of Gotham, he'd get bombed or something, you know. Mr. Freeze wouldn't survive that. But Batman shows up with all his stuff. Really great fight. This is a really cool fight, you know, despite all the ice puns in this episode. No one's ever going to learn their lesson about ice puns with Mr. Freeze. 
I mean, there were some in the animated series, but they were tasteful. In this episode, they were everywhere, and it wasn't just Mr. Freeze making them either. Oh, and then Batman and Robin don't even get me started on those ice puns. But at least he didn't say ice to la vista. Get it? Combination of two Arnold Schwarzenegger characters. But yeah, Batman defeats Mr. Freeze, and it's like, hey, I'm just going to stay the Batman because I'm doing more harm than bad. And I've saved this city from a great threat today that could have destroyed it. So, all's well that ends warm. But yeah, that's it for this episode, everyone. Uh, please check out the previous episodes if you would like. As soon as I finish this show, I'll move on to some other show. Uh, I'll probably let you guys pick it out of my personal collection. Not sure yet. It might just be Samurai Jack after I'm done with this, though. I'm leaning towards Samurai Jack after this show. Or I'm probably going to do Samurai Jack or Kamen Rider Forns. <laughs> so, there we go. A uh, Japanese show or an American show with heavy Japanese influence. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out the cool links in the description below. I'm not going to go through all of them, but... Yeah, lots of great stuff you see the last episode. And we'll have more Batman coming your way. So, that's it, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you all later.